clock Big saludos y respeto. Greetings to all my hands out there. Hopefully everybody's doing good. Hey, what can I say? Hey, get late. I just felt a little inspired to share a little testimony, a little story, a little background on me. A little small setback for a major comeback. Here I am. So stay tuned. Kick your feet up. Hey, get your feet up. might assume that I'm probably at um, Arizona, maybe somewhere out there in Colorado, but uh, in California, <laughs> Southern California to be precise. Look at the background. And that's so gorgeous. And then we got Arizona Mountains back here. The reality is the best of two worlds. California, baby. Fresh air. And I'm thankful and to the Almighty that created all this. And us, the time, this life, three life sentences. God's, God's will, His hand, His purpose. He didn't leave me down. He used uh, different people to help me through my dilemma. As youngsters, we think we know it all. We're some badasses, not knowing that we hurt our families, people around us. You know, we're being selfish, not thinking about our loved ones dragging them through, through the pain of being away, far away. Not only that, but they also have to sacrifice getting up early, driving every other weekend, four to five hours, standing in line, hungry, tired. I bet all some have medical problems, so it's not easy to drag our family through these moments. Check this out, little homie. If you're watching this, think about it, homeboy. Before you go pick up that gun, that knife, that G ride, or whatever it is, think about it for a second. Is this gonna really advance me to my goal, or is this gonna set me back? These are things that I wish I was able to think about when I was younger, and unfortunately, I had to go away. I actually thought I was never coming out because after. They offered me a deal. They dropped two of those life sentences. I took a deal on the last attempt at murder, which was 10. To top it off at the time, the LA County Jail was rocking. So man, shit got hectic. Those of you who've been to the jungle, LA County, concrete jungle, know what I'm talking about. You know, 2006 to be precise, homie. It was guerra, it was war. We had to put them up, man, and defend our, our grounds and represent our raza what we believe in, our structure, our unity, to top it off the respect that we ask for, and then we don't get it. Fortunately, it was at the wrong time and the wrong place. I picked up my in-house case, which they try to charge me uh, for murder. So here I am again, fighting life. Thank God, gave me my mom her, the strength to find a way to raise money to pay the lawyer. And God touched the lawyer's heart and had them jump on this case on a pro bono. That right there helped a lot. For, for those of you who don't know what a pro bono is, every lawyer in the state of California needs to take a case and service it for free. And I guess my lawyer was due, so he jumped on it and uh, they get paid by the county, but of course not like a private lawyer. So he got paid, but on the side, you know, my mom would make the effort to tip him a little bit. Just to let him know that we appreciate him, me out. Make this quick. Uh, so he hired experts, uh, doctors, fortunately, this victim had medical problem, uh, was on drugs. You know, a little altercation uh, escalated to a little physical fight. It was a six-man cell back in the days. Things escalated, man. Maybe this man wouldn't have died, man. Maybe this man would have been at home with his family. Some of these guys that got, got involved and were charged with murder were only there for petty shit. He ended up facing life. So you know the DA look for murder. He held his grounds for a while, didn't say nothing, but at the end of the day, he ended up breaking. But what gets me is like, fuck. I mean, say the truth, bro, but he actually went along with the DA. He went along with those lies, man. Lie after lie, lie after lie. Made us all look like monsters. 
the good thing is we did a very good job making jury selection. The foreman, the main lady that was running all these guys, 12 people, 12 jurors, they all knew that this guy was lying out of his mouth. He was lying, changing his statement on the stand. He got caught lying, didn't pass the, the lying detector test, she failed it. The jury saw this the other day. We got a not guilty verdict for second degree murder. Hung jury on involuntary manslaughter. Thank God the judge didn't want to go to trial anymore. He ain't wanted to pick it up again. So we said what we could do. Two and two. Two for the involuntary and two for the hate crime. Unfortunately, because it was a different race. Love, you know, my black brothers. Nothing personal. Business is business in there, unfortunately. Yeah. Four years run concurrent with the 10. Where do I sign? Bada bim, bada boom. Vamono resio. Man. Well, here I go, man. I looked out. I felt blessed coming back. Not guilty felt so good. I felt what OJ Simpson felt when that verdict came back. Exactly the same thing. Her not guilty and nothing else. My lawyer gives me a, a fist and yeah, we won. I look back. I see my brother-in-law, Frank. My dad, my little brother. I told my mom not to come to court because things were getting too graphic. I didn't want her to hear all these bad things being said about her son. But anyhow, it was self-defense at the end of the day. Man, I hope that man's resting in peace. And I know God has forgiven me. At the end of the day, I did, uh, out of 10 years, I did, uh, I did some change. You know how it goes in there. You're caught up bullshit. But anyhow, uh, I paroled in 2013. I got out. I got caught up. Went back. Nothing to brag about. But hey, you know what? I'm rolling. I'm going on four years of me. I'm doing good, working, taking care of business. I thought I'd briefly share this little story. Much love and respect, kids. Stay out of trouble and take your freedom for granted, man. Look at this shit. Wow. Beautiful. Con eso dicho, a Manny and a Jaguar man. This is good, wise homie. Throw it up, that's it. Gracias for subscribing, giving me a like, drop a comment. And pues, here we go. Freedom Rise. Food Wise.